To begin the catheter implantation procedure, operating personnel should perform a surgical scrub using appropriate hospital surgical protocol. Ultrasound is used at the intended entrance site to identify any exclusionary pathology. Duplex ultrasound may also be useful to identify the proper catheter placement site. This can help to avoid injury to the inferior epigastric vessels prior to needle placement. Ultrasound can also be used while the proposed tissue tract and primary catheter insertion site are anesthetized. Make a 2 to 3 cm long horizontal skin incision at the selected catheter implantation site. Blunt dissection and a cautery device can be used to maintain hemostasis. Dissection is performed to expose the anterior surface of the rectus sheath at a 30 to 45 degree angle from horizontal. Using ultrasound guidance, advance the introducer needle through the anterior rectus sheath, rectus muscle, and through the posterior rectus sheath. A non-vascular micropuncture set, such as the Merit Mac NV, may be used to access the peritoneum. If using a non-vascular micropuncture set, assure the length is adequate for peritoneal access. Once access to the peritoneal space is obtained, attach a 10 milliliter syringe containing appropriate iodinated contrast to the needle. This can be done using flexible clear tubing that is sold separately. Under fluoroscopy, verify appropriate needle placement into the peritoneal space by identifying the free flow of contrast outlining regional bowel loops. An irregular or striated appearance of injected contrast may indicate that the needle tip is inappropriately located in the bowel mesentery, greater omentum, preperitoneal space, or rectus abdominis muscle. If contrast is identified within the bowel loops, this may indicate bowel perforation. If a bowel perforation is identified, the procedure should be abandoned and the patient should be treated with antibiotics per hospital protocol. Once proper access to the peritoneal space is achieved and confirmed via contrast, direct the O38 inch guide wire included in the kit into the caudal and posterior position. If using a non vascular micropuncture set, such as the Merit Mac NV, to gain access to the peritoneum, follow appropriate steps as outlined in the instructions for use. Optionally, a hydrophilic AMPLATS or super stiff guide wire can also be used. Advance the wire as appropriate under fluoroscopy into the peritoneum. The guide wire should advance easily into the peritoneal space. Further advance the guide wire to the optimal position into the pelvic gutter. Ultimately, the wire should cross the midline and loop in the lower pelvic cavity. Merit offers a number of diagnostic catheters that can be used for this purpose. Next, to accommodate catheter passage into the peritoneal cavity, dilate the rectus muscle with the 12 French and 14 French dilators, respectively, under fluoroscopic guidance. Once the muscle is adequately dilated, assure that the dilator and peelable introducer sheath are locked together to prevent separation during insertion. Under fluoroscopy, the 18 French peelable introducer sheath is advanced over the guide wire. Once the sheath is in place, Gently remove the dilator from the peelable introducer sheath, leaving the guide wire in place. The catheter is prepared by soaking it in sterile saline. Prior to advancing the catheter over the wire, squeeze the air out of the cuffs by rotating the submerged cuffs between the fingers. Next, straighten the end of the coil and load it over the proximal end of the guide wire. Continue to advance the catheter through the peelable sheath and into the optimal position in the deep pelvis. The catheter coil can be lubricated to facilitate advancement. Use the radiopaque stripe as a guide to avoid twisting the catheter. For optimal catheter placement, the radiopaque stripe should be oriented directly anterior or directly posterior in the patient. Maintaining the position of the distal end of the guide wire, Continue to advance the catheter over the guide wire and through the peelable sheath introducer and into the appropriate position. Next, the deep cuff is implanted in the rectus muscle. Crack and peel the sheath approximately 5 cm. Place the cuff implanter between the two cuffs of the catheter and advance to the distal or deep cuff. While bracing the cuff with the cuff implantor, 
advance the distal cuff with the cuff implantor into the rectus fascia. The bracket on the cuff implantor will keep the cuff implantor from passing through the anterior rectus sheath. While bracing the distal cuff with the cuff implantor in the rectus muscle, peel the remaining sheath with assistance from the procedural assistant. Retract the cuff implantor tool parallel with the catheter without dislocating or moving the distal cuff. Verify that the distal cuff is just below the anterior rectus sheath. It may be helpful to retract the incision site tissue to improve visualization of the cuff. Remove the guide wire. To begin the tunneling procedure, slide the proximal end of the catheter over the barbed end of the Fowler trocar. A suture can be used to secure the catheter on the Fowler trocar. Insert the sharp end of the Fowler trocar into the initial implantation site, aiming the sharp tip toward the planned tunnel and exit site. Advance the sharp tip of the trocar along the planned track. If using the metal Fowler trocar, use caution as it is very sharp. If using the plastic trocar, make a stab incision at the exit site. Carefully advance the trocar through the exit site incision. Continue by pulling the catheter through the tunnel and out through the exit site to assure the subcutaneous cuff is optimally located. Cut the catheter off of the Fowler trocar at the end of the barbed tip and apply the plastic connector included in the catheter kit or the titanium connector sold separately. If placing the Merit two-part titanium connector, slide the cap on the catheter first, then advance the catheter to the barb and tighten. Inject a small amount of non-ionic contrast to check catheter placement and assure it is not kinked. Always confirm placement by infusing and draining a minimum of 1,000 milliliters of warmed sterile saline. Drop the saline bag to drain. Lock the catheter with heparinized saline according to hospital protocol. A transfer set can also be attached and is sold separately by the Dialysate Solution Company. According to standard hospital protocol, close the initial catheter insertion site and apply a wound dressing. At every step in your peritoneal dialysis procedure, Merit Medical offers unique products to improve the quality of life for the PD patient. From preparation to implantation, our products will help you achieve the clinical and procedural efficiency that is essential for delivering the best possible care.